I apologise for looking like crap, but I feel like crap. Got a cold. Came on. Well, yesterday I sneezed five times. Then I sneezed five times again. Then I sneezed four times. Usually I'm a one or two sneezer a go, go and go. Woke up at about eight o'clock this morning to sneeze. Like, this is new. Left nostril running yeah, like yeah. a tap. Not good. Anyways. Now, my me, me poor day. Um, you know what I think about adverts, right? It's like, literally, it has gone... Oh, excuse me. It has gone just astro. And it just gets worse and worse and worse. Even on Facebook gaming, now, you've got to watch an advert before you play your game. It's like, literally, they want the next shit. Do you know what I mean? And and as I've said before, it's extortion because it's like literally we're going to advertise to you until you get so sick you pay us to leave you alone. Mafia tactics, right? Anyways, so I've been doing lots of videos on this and then yesterday I saw this advert and I'm like, what the actual fuck is going on here? So I thought I'd share it with you, see what you guys think. Now, there were on, I'm talking uh, YouTube here. Uh, mainly because that's the worst offender, in my personal opinion. I don't watch TV adverts. I pay ITV to keep them off. I don't even watch that much ITV. But I pay that, and they're not that expensive and whatever. But YouTube, it's like 18 quid a month, and you can fuck off. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather just get, like, you know, material for my own channel... Uh, which isn't monetized, so you won't get adverts and prove the bloody point, right? So you get adverts for, like, obviously, you've got, because um, we're in a cost of living crisis. So they do adverts for holidays abroad, holidays in England, which are often more expensive. Holidays, trading, insider trading. And it's like, where do these... Well, yeah, I suppose if you're doing really good at insider training, you've got the money for that kind of thing. Uh, cars as well. It's like, you know, like, the the people who can afford this shit can afford to pay... What's it called? You Joe and it said, oh, cars. <laughs> oh, man, I feel ill. <laughs> can pay YouTube to not have adverts. So who are you advertising to? You're advertising to the poor people about rich things. Do you know what I mean? Because it's the poor people who can't afford to stop you from bullying them, right? And you're advertising them shitloads of really expensive stuff and stuff that they probably couldn't give two shiny shits about. And some of these adverts are, like, minutes long. Now, another thing that I noticed yesterday is that if you have an ad and it says you can skip it, in three seconds or whatever and you don't do that and that ad's like 15 seconds long it plays another bloody advert it's like well, anyways right the what the, the 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 point of oh god i do look like shit don't i <laughs> can't think why i'm single anyways so the thing the advert that i i saw yesterday that I thought was the most redundant, bloody advert I've ever seen in my life. Well, not ever. There are more redundant adverts. But I'm like, you pay... Now, I used to work in advertising. And it's like, yes, I did. <laughs> I also used to work for a pharmaceutical company. I have done all of these jobs. <laughs> I used to work for in advertising for a radio station. And um, so I know... That it's expensive business, right? So these people are putting good money into these adverts. And yesterday I saw an advert. Excuse me. I don't know whether that's just a tickle or a dribble. Better safe than sorry, right? <coughs> um, washing up liquid. I saw an advert for washing up liquid. They spend thousands of pounds on advertising, washing up liquid. Who the fuck doesn't know about washing up liquid? 
Do you know what I mean? People buy washing up liquid already. They're not going to go, like, literally, these are, when I was growing up, you'd got the old, this is a table of, like, one bottle of this other washing up liquid and then a massive table with a, a fairy washing up liquid, one could say, and it does a load more. Good advertising back in the day. I've always used fairy washing up liquid. Maybe this is for the young uns. Maybe I saw um, a news article the other day that basically millennials aren't using fabric softener. So I want to say Procter & Gamble. Uh, but some basically people who make this stuff are getting themselves a whole new advertiser. They are talk to the board, how do we make it so that we can sell this product to people who don't need it and don't want it? Do you know what I mean? So maybe that's it. Maybe it's like, you know, the millennials are just going like, I don't give a shit what I wash up with. I just, you know, like, I just get some cheap stuff from, well, pound shop, but at the end of the day, that's not cheap anymore. But, uh, you know, from some budget place or whatever. Um, and they're like, no, we're losing money on this product because they've found a better product or they've found a cheaper product and that will do for them. Maybe that's what this is all about. I don't know. I just found it really bizarre to be watching an advert for washing up liquid. Oh, Jesus Christ, need an advert for tissues. Uh, I am an advert for tissues. What am I talking about? <laughs> So, yeah, if you've got any thoughts on it, obviously my brain's fried at them and they feel like crap. But if you've got any thoughts on it, please uh, let me know in the comments um, because I'm genuinely interested to see why they spent thousands of pounds on advertising washing up liquid when everybody uses washing up liquid. So let me know your thoughts um, and hopefully I'll feel a bit better soon and I love you all. Bye.